Well, tonight, the El Paso Sheriff's Department and the Texas Rescue Patrol wants to remind El Pasoans to be safe when behind the wheel of an all-terrain vehicle, better known as an ATV. That's right. KTSM 9 News reporter Tani Davis reports on how to be safe if you plan on participating in any of those off-roading activities. Hey there, Tani. Andy, Natasia, the Sheriff's Department released a statement encouraging public safety and reminding residents that they will be enforcing code violations for all off-highway vehicles. The Texas Patrol also has several tips as well for those who wish to go off-roading. The Texas Rescue Patrol say there is a law saying that you cannot get behind the wheel of an off-highway vehicle without some sort of supervision or training. In Texas, you've got to take an ATV rider safety course um, while operating on public lands um, or be under the supervision of an individual who has taken the course or be under the supervision of a state instructor while they're giving you some training. Mutron says even with the training class complete, that does not leave you immune to safety and that what you wear in the vehicles is important for your safety as well. Always be wearing a helmet and eye protection inside of a UTV, regardless if it has a roll cage, because we also see a lot of head injuries where people end up rolling these things over and they strike their head against the roll cage. Mutron and the Texas Rescue Patrol offer classes to El Paso so that they may learn the basic principles of transverse across the sand dunes safely. The class teaches you how to do emergency turns, how to climb hills, how to descend hills, how to make uh, sharp turns, how to go over obstacles. There's a, a variety of different uh, things that we cover in the class that are very beneficial and will help you in terms of preventing injury on these type of machines. ATV Safety Week occurs during the second week of May and the Texas Rescue Patrol will be offering free classes to the community. Andy, Natasha. Tony, I feel like a lot of the accidents that we hear about, there are a lot of rollover accidents, but what is one of the main reasons that we see a lot of these accidents? Well, Andy, actually one of the main reasons is that people over, often overestimate their abilities to control the vehicle while underestimating the ability or the capabilities of the vehicle itself. And when those people push the capabilities of the vehicle too far, that's when the accident happens. Back to you all. All right, our Tony Davis live for us in Far East El Paso. Thank you very much, Tony. Coming up.